On 21st October, we remember and honour St. Hilarion the Great, who was an anchorite, who spent most of his life in the desert, according to the example of St. Anthony the Great. While St. Anthony is considered to have established Christian monasticism in the Egyptian desert, St. Hilarion is considered by some to be the founder of Palestinian monasticism and venerated as a saint by the Orthodox and the Roman Catholic Church. St. Hilarion the Great was born to pagan parents in the year 291 in the Palestinian village of Tabitha near Gaza. As a young man, he was sent to Alexandria for his education. There he became acquainted with Christianity and was baptized. After hearing an account of the angelic life of St. Anthony the Great, Hilarion went to meet him, desiring to study with him and learn what is pleasing to God. Hilarion soon returned to his native land to find that his parents had died. After distributing his family's inheritance to the poor, St. Hilarion went forth into the desert again. In the desert, the saint endured violent struggles with impure thoughts, vexations of the mind, and the burning passions of the flesh, but he defeated them through heavy labour, fasting, and fervent prayer. The devil sought to frighten him with phantoms and apparitions. While he was praying, St. Hilarion would sometimes hear children crying, women wailing, and the roaring of lions and other wild beasts. He understood that the demons were causing these terrors in order to drive him out of the wilderness. He overcame his fear by resorting to fervent prayer. He finally built a hut of reeds in which he lived for four years. Afterwards, he constructed a tiny low-ceilinged cell a tomb rather than a house, where he slept on a bed of rushes and recited the Bible or sang hymns. He never washed his clothes, changed them only when they fell apart, and shaved his hair only once a year. He was once visited by robbers, but they left him alone when they learned that he did not fear death and had nothing worth stealing anyway. He also persuaded them to forsake their lawless life by the power of his words. St. Jerome described Hilarion's diet as half a pint of lentils moistened with cold water and after three years he switched to dry bread with salt and water. Soon, all of Palestine heard about St. Hilarion and of the miracles he worked. The Lord granted the holy ascetic the power to cast out unclean spirits. With this gift of grace, he loosened the bonds of many of those who were afflicted. The sick came for healing, and the saint cured them without asking for any payment, saying that the grace of God is freely received and must be freely given. Such was the grace that he received from God that he could tell by the smell of someone's body or clothing which passion was afflicting his soul. They came to Saint Hilarion desiring to save their souls under his guidance. With his blessing, monasteries began to spring up throughout Palestine. Going from one monastery to another, he instituted a strict ascetic manner of life. About seven years before his death, St. Hilarion moved back to Cyprus, where the ascetic lived in a solitary place until the Lord summoned him to himself. St. Hilarion is sometimes depicted holding a scroll which reads, The tools of a monk are steadfastness, humility and love according to God. In iconography, he is depicted as an old man with a brown rush-like beard divided into three points. Placing all our petitions before St. Hilarion today, let us pray. May the intercession of the blessed abbot Hilarion commend us to you, O Lord, so that through his merits we may obtain that which we cannot accomplish by our own. May his pursuit of solitude and rejection of the world remind us to spend time alone with you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.